In this video, we are going to talk about the parts of the ribber and how to assemble them on the machine. And then there are separate videos for how to actually knit with the ribber. So first let's go through the pieces that you have. Uh, and you have many of the pieces for like the tappet plates and the ribber stoppers, the ribber fins. You have two sets and there's, and you might have dials as well in two different sizes. So there's a set for the tuttle size cylinders and a set for the compound cylinders. So uh, the way to tell them apart is that the tuttle ones are bigger and the compound ones are smaller. And that's true for all of the parts. You can line them up and see there's always one that is a little bit bigger. These, uh, this is the ribber stopper and it goes down into the cylinder. I'll show you in a minute how to assemble that. And then you have two bolts. They're just like the ones that normally go up to connect the floor gear to the cylinder, but they're a little bit longer. Uh, and so they will actually sandwich up through the floor gear, through the cylinder, and then into the ribber stop to anchor it in place. This is the frame, the ribber frame. You just have one of those and it's what attaches the ribber to the cam shell. And I will show you that as well. It gets attached with these longer bolts and then the smaller washers that you have, uh, you can put those in between the cam shell and the frame in case you need the ribber to be just a tiny bit taller. As a general rule, you want it to be pretty low uh, because that will help you keep from dropping stitches. Then you have the ribber dials and they are stamped with the number at the bottom. And remember, there are always half as many needles in the dial as there are in the cylinder. So this is the C32, compound 32 ribber dial, which goes with the compound 64 cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead for our demonstration today to set up for this compound 32. The first thing you do is make sure that the tappet plate is attached to your frame and there's a bolt here that needs to be secure. And so it, uh, it usually is secure, but you can go ahead and tighten that down. And particularly you would need to switch that out if you're going to move to a um, Tuttle sized uh, setup instead. And then you'll want to put lube down all along the track and you can actually spray or spray right in the river dial with your dry lube as well. But the ceramic grease to spread that around the uh, cams and even just right on top of all these parts uh, will help help everything flow smoothly. To get the ribber dial ready you need to attach the ribber fin and this is adjustable which we'll show you how to do in another video but to start just keep it closed this, this little knob loosens and tightens it but just keep it uh, pinched closed to start and then there's a little bolt you'll see that goes into the bottom of the ribber dial. So use the screwdriver we provided to tighten that down. Not super tight because you actually can um, punch it through the other side. So it should be tight, but it really you're just trying to make sure that it's not going to fall off. The next step then is to sandwich all of this together. So take your large washer and put it under the ribber fin and then take your shorter bolt. You can see the longer ones go in the frame and the shorter one goes up through the center. So we have the shorter bolt and then you have the washer and then you have the river fin which is attached to the river dial. And then one thing to know is that these can get out of alignment. So before you start, just make sure that those are lined up and then your bolt goes straight up through the tappet plate and into the frame. And then there's a nut. And first you can tighten just by hand to get it started. But then you definitely will need your wrench to tighten this on. And you tighten it until it can just barely turn. Do a little more. You want it to be, you know, pretty tight. You don't want to be able to have any give this direction. You want to be able to have a rocking motion. So you really want it to be sandwiched onto the tappet plate. So that's everything you need for your actual setup. 
Uh, and then we'll take a look on the machine for how to put in the river stopper next. So here we go. In the cylinder, this is the main mark. And you know the main mark is always lined up by the bolt connector that has the X. So there's another whole video on lining up the cylinder with the floor gear, making sure the, the two that are marked with the X's are together. This shorter end of your river stop is going to line up, oops, wrong one, is going to line up on the one with the X. So this is where my X is, that's where it's going to line up. So I always get in the habit of putting that one with the X right by the yarn feeder and then start by attaching this one with your normal size bolt that normally holds your floor gear and your cylinder together. And I've actually already put that one in. And now I'm going to take my longer bolt and I'm going to put it up into the one with the X. And you can usually get these started by hand and then you can either use the Dina Bean screwdriver or I'm actually going to use a drill. And then once it starts to come up, you can make sure that it is lined up. There you go. And then you'll need to turn it slightly in order to reach this one. Same thing, I get it started by hand and then I usually use the drill and then make sure that it's going up into the river stopper. So to actually add the river, normally you would have cast on and have your knitting on the machine and you're going to stop with the main mark around six o'clock or so. And then you'll line it up. You, you don't want to twist your fabric very much trying to get the river fin and river dial lined up. So you want to set it up so that the fin is going in just beside where the river stopper is and then set the river down in. And then you can use your long bolts just tighten right down in same on the other side and then as you turn the cylinder it turns the dial at the same rate so those are the basics for now uh, in one of the other videos on knitting, we'll show you how to actually add the river needles and get cranking. I hope that helps. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.